Oh, that's a cute bunny. Oh, this is cool. Fireworks underground. Mm. Micro Doom Boom? That looks so cool. A Spanish cracker? What is that? I've never heard of that before. Oh, this is gonna be a good one right here. We officially are doing this? Like, why do you keep saying officially? This is so annoying. If I hear the word officially or guys one more time, oh, and he's blowing up burgers and he just said guys again. You know what? I'm done. I find this video offensive and he's blowing up McDonald's. You, you know what? I'm done. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the little skit there. <laughs> Yeah, that was just some works, some stuff in the works I thought you guys might like for the little intro on the stash video. Now, for any of you who are new on the channel, I like to do this video every year where I just show my fireworks stash for the upcoming season. And obviously, guys, this would not be my final stash for sure. Some of these guys are from New Year's Eve. We even got some rockets right here. Now, everyone, if I was going to suggest something about the upcoming season at least if you like doing fireworks shows or anything like that for the matter and you want to buy i found that what helped me last year so much was when i put my money into wholesale now i had a local wholesaler nearby called pyroland if some of you remember for the last fourth of july video i did i'd like to point out that if you enjoy having a lot of big 200 grams 500 grams and canister shells to do and you just want quantity look for a place near you that can do wholesale keep in mind guys you don't have to be a fireworks stand owner to purchase wholesale simply do the research in the area you live a good example of this might be if you live in washington to do something like pyroland fireworks there are other options, of course. Not that everyone is going to have the same opinion, but that's certainly what I would do for my upcoming stash and when I decide to purchase wholesale there. With that out of the way, everyone, we have some of the fireworks that I collected over the new year and last 4th of July right here. So what I like to do with all the fireworks I have is really try to organize, sort, and condense my items as best as possible. One thing you might even do is take some of the novelty items like this. This looks really cool, by the way. Just go ahead and set your little items off to the side to make room. And then take this box and just throw it away. Because honestly, everyone, there's just no point in having a box lying around. I have this other little box here. And this is kind of just for some loose items that I've got. As you can see, I've got my old Euro packaging here that I saved when the ATF robbed me. Really a bunch of loose items that I decided to kind of put away. I took a nice little roll of this seraphim. All I really decided to do for this everyone is just take some fireworks that I never had time to put away and just put them in a great big plastic bag. You can see there's so many different ones and I'll probably do some videos on them later. But it really helps if you have loose things and you want to tuck them away real quick and easy. That is what I like to do. And of course, over the years, I've collected many different things. And I'd like to point out that if you guys go to a bunch of different firework stands, I like to get the good fireworks, so I go to the Indian Reservation. You can see right here I've got one stand. I think this one's from Boom City. Yeah, Tulalip. I even just keep a collection, an inventory of all of the best stands that I like to go to at Boom City. I even have some copies of different cards because they always hand me another one. But the point really just remains the same. It's really good to ke just keep tabs on items in your stash. And then at some later point, just kind of look it over and decide for yourself, based on all the folks that dealt you fireworks, maybe some prior years before, which items you liked the most and would like to get more of. Now here is an example of some really good fireworks that you can get at an Indian reservation. Obviously they can be bigger fireworks like those, some towel firecrackers that are super big, even normal sized firecrackers, which some states ban, and of course maybe some big bottle rockets or salutes, stuff 
like that. I'd maybe spend about 500 on some of the cool stuff from the res, and then bring your other $500 on on some other regular items that maybe your state allows. In particular, I would probably just choose wholesale. And then I'd be pretty much good to go. Keep in mind, every stand you go to, whether it be the Indian Reservation or just a simple fireworks tent, is basically a box of chocolates and you're, you never know how expensive some of the items will be. That being said, this is basically just what has been accumulated over the past few years now. I'd say about 80% of it though is from New Year's plus last fourth. And of course everybody, as the season rolls in, it's probably a good time to maybe look over your 4th of July stash from last year that you might have lying around and maybe take some time to decide what fireworks you want to get. Hopefully that was helpful. I'm not saying you have to do any of those things I pointed out, but that of course is how I would go about it if I were new to buying fireworks. Well everyone, here we are. I got the 60 FPS rolling, and I'll kind of give you a brief overview on my pre-4th of July fireworks stash. Now I guess just like I introduced at the beginning of the video, I'll start at the right over here. I've got basically just a lovely arsenal of bottle rockets. These right here are some simple whistling moon travel type bottle rockets. Moving on, we've got some bigger types of rockets here. According to the label, these are the Big Fireworks 4 ounce rockets. This right here is a rocket assortment that I got at Boom City. I'm gonna go ahead and set it off to the left. Lots of different kinds of rockets in there. Remaining here, guys, are some intermediary sized firework rockets right there with a good report, as I would assume. And this is kind of just a bunch of miscellaneous punks, kind of a broken rocket here. Nice little suppressor novelty. This is kind of like a fountain or held handheld sparkler. Right over here, we've got the 1.4G logo on this box. That's kind of what I like. And this was just some leftover wholesale that I did with Pyreland and Victory last year. So I just kind of have these mini fountains that do showers of sparks, and I have a whole bunch of them set off to the side. And that concludes those two, and now on to the black cat box here. Now as you can see, I kind of have a variety of things in here. I already pointed out what this was, just kind of a random assortment of things. Of course, I've got the small snap and pops. These are just the fun ones to get the 4th of July day started. Right here, I've got some glow worms and black snakes. Really like these types of fireworks right here. Again, just some fun novelty to get the day started. Some outlaw buster firecrackers. I think maybe I've got one or two left in there. Not too sure. Got some naughty boys. These are actually crackling barrels. I think they're a couple years old. I'll get the package open now so you guys can see what they look like. I guess one was not included. That's too bad. But yeah, they look like this and they basically just crackle forever. They're probably one of my favorite fireworks to ever exist. Besides just some other random items in here, not really too much else to point out. I guess maybe these crackling balls are pretty heavy on joy and fun during the 4th too, so I got those. And now onto the left here, we kind of just have some variety of novelty, larger fountain type stuff. We've even we even got some nice little, even got some nice little looking fireworks over here, like this car called Hot Racer. It's pretty cool. Might actually go try that later, actually. Really, I've just got a lot of fountains here. I think, underneath, I think underneath these racers, I've got some Red Devil M1000s. Now, these are pretty neat, because obviously, guys, sometimes just the performance itself isn't what sparks interest about fireworks. Sometimes it's just the candy store feature look and aesthetic that brings you so much happiness. Overall, that's probably my favoritist endeavorment about pyro. We got some tortoises here. These are kind of some novelty type fireworks. It looks like they roll on the ground or maybe do a little shower of sparks, something fun like that. Now there's a little parachute back here. I did this for my welcome video. This is the seven inch parachute, which if you guys didn't see that video, it's pretty cool, pretty funny, hilarious. I guess I recommend checking it out. <laughs> these right here are the black cats and they're pretty rare types of fireworks. I do like these. If you can find them on the res ever, I definitely recommend getting them because you get a whole bunch of these things right here and they take about 10 to 20 seconds to just do one of these. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. 10 to 20 seconds. What am I talking about? They do last quite a long time and you get a whole bunch. Super slow duration fuse and you get to enjoy every pop. I've got some other strips of firecrackers here. They are essentially all the same except there are just some different off-brand type firecrackers. Of course these are those towel crackers which I showed you guys earlier. Of course these I got on the res. Pretty sweet stuff. Right in this dark corner over here we have this pony which is a nice little novelty type item really neat overall it's really neat overall i'm pretty excited about that all these nice little featured looks of fireworks right here with the print on them is so cool for the kids 
And then I think, I'm not too sure, I think this right here is those Jack in the Box. Oh, I was, no. Oh no, this is the butterfly, butterfly Flowers. Yeah, so just some little fountains here. I think I might have demoed one, but I don't remember when. If you guys can remember the video, point it out to me. I believe right here we've got a couple great balls of fire packs. Now, if you guys don't know what these do, they are absolutely amazing. Probably my second to favorite novelty of all time. They basically just create a big sun flare of crackle. Very good show. If you time it right, you could probably throw one in the air and get a nice show up in the sky too with the crackling. That's cool. Got some color smoke balls. This is a nice little big pack pack right here which I definitely recommend doing whenever you can get some really big packs of things like this it might be $20 for the whole pack or 10 I'm not really too sure it might seem like it costs more money to go with something big like this but there's always a discount nonetheless which is why I'm really happy with it there's even another different type of brand of smoke ball over here yeah and it really just gives me variety overall I think I'm not big on I'm really not too big on the types of fireworks that I have I really just enjoy lots of fuses to light for the fourth overall i said it before guys and i'll say it again be like mr army man here and salute yourself this fourth season to buying some small fireworks because they really are the best fireworks overall well do thank you guys very much for looking i'll catch you in the next one and if you hadn't seen the welcome video that i posted for the beginning of this year once again uh, sorry excuse me uh, 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 excuse me and if you haven't seen the welcome video for this year then do go check that out. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you in the next one.